Hi, this is Ron Bainberg, and I'm a guest interviewer today with Mortgage News Network here at the National Association of Mortgage Brokers Convention in Las Vegas. And I have the incredible pleasure of being here with Dr. Kerry Johnson, someone who I've actually... I have followed you for years, <laughs> and uh, having the opportunity to interview is is actually <laughs> I think I feel like a kid in a candy store right now, and I, and I mean that sincerely. So it's such a pleasure to meet meet you and be able to talk with you. Thanks, Ryan. Question I wanted to ask is, looking at where the the industry, where it's going, where it's been, where it's going now, what does the loan officer, what does the mortgage broker, what does the manager have to do in order to really succeed moving forward? Well, I, my speech today was uh, how to increase your business by 80% within eight weeks. And I had a packed house. Uh, we had standing room only. And we had books and CDs. We sold out within about five or six minutes. And I really only covered three things. Number one, I covered the notion that people will do a mortgage every seven years. And the mortgage brokers in there and the people, the attendees, don't call their clients at all. They don't, they're, they're just transactions. So I gave them a three-part technique that they could use to uh, uh, double their originations, catch up, update referral. Call A and B clients every three months, catch up on the family, catch up on the whatever's going on. Number two, update them on what the economy has done, what the economy may do, home values, et cetera, et cetera. And number three, uh, just listen and try to find out if that person has rental properties, when they're going to refi again, are the rates ready for them, and if you can't get new business, just go for the referral. Referrals are 35% more likely to business. They're going to be 25% more money. They're a lot of fun. There's no rejection, <laughs> and they can double their business for that very simple technique. It, you know, that is very simple. As myself being a trainer and a coach as well, two loan originators, one of the things that I find is you can present this to an audience. They love it. It makes perfect sense. It's simple. You know and I know there's such a small percentage of them that take action on simple strategies. My question is, anyone who's watching this just heard what you were just talking about, it makes perfect sense. What would be your message to them or a strategy to get them to follow through with it, not just say, hey, this is great, bought the CD, got the book, whatever, but to actually do something with it? Well, we could talk about platitudes. You need to do it. You need to um, actuate. And I could talk about the notion that uh, people will forget 70% with by tomorrow, 90% within three days. And those people have heard that forever. If you really want to um, uh, implement stuff, you really have to use what we call opera conditioning techniques. You have to give yourself a reward and then apply that reward. So for example, one of my mortgage broker clients, we have a coaching company, we promised our clients they'll increase their business by 80% within eight weeks. And it was just really tough to make the phone calls. So we found out that he really loved to go to the driving range and we made the phone calls contingent on the driving range. So for example, if he made his three phone calls, he could go to the driving range. If he didn't go make the phone calls, couldn't go to the driving range, and he would give his secretary a hundred bucks. And the hundred bucks we'd given, she would take the hundred bucks if he did if he didn't go to the driving range. Not if he didn't make the phone calls, didn't go to the driving range. <laughs> and it really works. It's called opera conditioning. I love that. I actually I'll say I've never heard of it and <laughs> I can see that being a real cure all and, you, and the individual if they don't have a coach which we both know how important coaching is. Yeah. But if they don't have a coach, how does that person put that arra arrangement, how do they get there to make that kind of arrangement for themselves to do it, to create some kind of leverage point? Well, you know, because you're, you're a brilliant, uh, sharp guy at this kind of stuff, but you know that uh, there's only two ways to get business. Number one is by, if you want to go from 100000 to $200,000, either by working double the hours or doubling your skills. And if they don't double their skills, they're going to work 18 hours a day, burn themselves out, and be divorced three times. So working with you or a person like me, we'll do three things. Number one, we'll put them on a business plan that ensures they'll increase their business by 80%, minimum. Number two, we'll rebuild, the, rebuild their basic skills, referral techniques, uh, marketing techniques, uh, probing techniques, closing techniques. And number three, then, we'll develop advanced skills, how to hire, recruit, retain, um, NLP techniques, advanced communication techniques, how to work with realtors more effectively. And if they can do those three things, they'll double their business. You know this stuff. Oh, You're sharp sure at this stuff. Uh, uh, yes, I am, but this is not about me. This is about you. <laughs> this is about you, and I thank you for that. But no, in reality, it's getting them to leverage, 
to create the leverage on themselves to do this. We both know what it takes for them to do it, and if they do it, what the results will be. Yeah. How does a person trigger that leverage within yeah, them? Yeah, but the problem, Ron, you know, and I both know this, that when the market goes down, uh, people become realtors, they, they go work for 7-Eleven. When the market goes up, everybody jumps into the business. So number one is professionalism. Right. They have to treat this like a career, and they have to start developing their skill set. You can't be in this business and just make cold calls and just hammer pitch people. You've got to know what you're doing. And the way to do that is by having a systematized process to make it work. Treating it like a business. Like a business, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Well, Dr. Kerry, Dr. Kerry Johnson, it is such a pleasure to finally be able to meet you, speak with you, share the camera with you. Thank you so much for being here and appreciate it. Thanks, Ron. From Mortgage News Network, Ron Weinberg, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch us, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. This is Mortgage News Network.